1975. Violent confrontations take place between Greenpeace and the Soviet whaling fleet. During the clash, an injured sperm whale emerges. The dying animal makes eye contact with an activist and chooses to fall back rather than crush his small boat. The understanding and intelligence that the activist sees in the whale's eye changes his life forever. His name is Paul Watson. On this day, he vows to dedicate his entire life to defending marine wildlife. Sea Shepherd is born, and with it, the heroic story of its ships and crew. Numerous vessels have contributed to building Sea Shepherd's history. Throughout countless fights on every ocean in the world, in the toughest waters, always defending those who cannot defend themselves from those without mercy. Here are some of the most iconic fights. The Sea Shepherd's first mission was in 1977, when we saved over 1,000 baby seals by spraying them with a natural indelible dye. Afterwards, Captain Watson and his crew started tracking a whaler, the Sierra, notably responsible for the disappearance of humpback whales in the Caribbean Sea. On the 16th of July, 1979, the Sea Shepherd rammed the pirate ship twice in Portuguese waters. With his ship arrested, Captain Paul Watson chose to scuttle it rather than have it fall into the hands of the whalers. Then came the exploits of the Sea Shepherd II. During a trip to Iceland, undercover crew scuttled two out of the four Icelandic whalers in the port of Reykjavik. In the 80s, the Sea Shepherd II fought actively against the Grindadrup in the Faroe Islands, the biggest massacre of marine mammals in Europe, where entire families of dolphins are massacred every year out of tradition. In 2002, the Farley Moat intercepted the Veradero, a longline boat that poached sharks for their fins in the waters off the coast of Guatemala. Later, during a mission in Japan, divers liberated captured dolphins from Taji Bay. In 2010, thanks to the courage of Sea Shepherd divers, the Steve Irwin managed to liberate 800 bluefin tuna, which were being poached in the Mediterranean Sea in Libyan waters. In 2015, the Bob Barker led the longest chase in maritime history. 110 days in pursuit of a poacher, the Thunder, sought by Interpol for 10 years of illegal fishing in Antarctica. Provided with supplies from the Sam Simon, a sister ship, the Bob Barker continued to follow the Thunder until the captain of the poaching vessel scuttled his own ship to destroy the evidence of his crimes, but in vain. The Adigil, an extremely fast ship, was used to fight against whale hunting in the Antarctic. However, it was destroyed after being hit by a Japanese whaling vessel, the Shonen Maru No. 2. The crew members were all rescued by the Steve Irwin, safe and sound. But the Sea Shepherd fleet is also. The Bridget Bardot, a trimaran which takes part in numerous reconnaissance missions. The Martin Sheen, the only sailboat in the fleet, which carries out missions with scientists to better determine and counter the disastrous effects of plastic and chemical pollution on marine life. The Ocean Warrior, donated to Sea Shepherd by the Dutch Postcode Lottery and hailed for its speed. It allows us to track down and confront every kind of poacher, even in difficult sea conditions. The John Paul de Joria, used to save sharks in the waters of Central America. The Serenian, given to the National Park Service of the Galapagos Islands. And many more small boats that act to defend marine wildlife. The 40-year story is still being written. Thousands of lives have been saved, thousands of volunteers have served, numerous battles have been won, and still many more remain. The fleet leads our defense of the ocean. Without it, none of our interventions would be possible, and without you, our fleet would remain dockside. What keeps our fleet out at sea is the energy of our volunteers and the financial contributions of our supporters. Many thanks to all of you who have, in one way or another, chosen to come aboard with us. All of our victories are your victories.